Oh. All right, what's going on, guys? Just pulled in at the dock in St. Martin here. Whew, looks beautiful. Looks a lot different than what I remember when I was a kid. And it's more mountainous. I thought it was more like tropical and it's more like deserty, but uh, this is cool. Can't wait. Can you remove the hot All right, guys, so uh, we're getting on this like ferry to go over to like the main area. And look at this right here. I'm geeking out because tarpon. Just chilling. I want to catch them so bad, but this is not the spot to catch them. If I like drop something in the water, I would get destroyed. Ugh. We need to catch tarpon. That's like the number one species. We got to catch a tarpon. All right, so I think I have a idea of where we're headed. You know, we want to go fish that little salt pond because that's where some tarpon will definitely be. Talked with a local though, he said that, you know, it might not be great right now because the tarpon really like to feed, uh, you know, in the morning and in the evening. Uh, stuff's going down. Oh gosh, this is like the New York City today. It's crazy, and really the only sense of direction that I have is that little map that I looked at, and then before I got to the island, I looked at uh, Google Maps, and, and really right now I can't use my phone for anything except like just to look at the time because uh, I didn't, you know, I didn't pay for extra data to be used on the island. All right, we found the pond, and uh, I don't remember the water being like pea soup, but it's pea soup. And I think this is actually the very same spot where 10 years ago I fished uh, with my dad here. He caught like two and I broke one off after fishing for a really long time. And then like the crews called us back and we had to leave. Um, yeah, so I think our game plan is just to walk along here and see if we can see some tailing um, or any signs of fish. So far I haven't seen anything really. And uh, you know, if we can't get it done here, then maybe we'll just go back to the ocean side. All right, we're gonna start off with a little Yozuri. See if uh, we could find anything. Water is extremely dirty. So that's why I think it's key if we can see some tailing, then at least like we can bump these fish on the nose. It's just this wild dog roaming around here. Hey bud, what you doing? Covering a lot of ground, I'm not really seen anything. And it's really hot. So there's like no breeze, just straight humid heat. Hmm. Not really sure what to do next. I mean, we can keep fishing along this bank or I think there's like some type of canal or channel like over that way towards that mountain. We might check that out. If that doesn't work, then go to the ocean side and maybe just fish a jetty. All right, we're at the canal and I think I just spotted a tarpon right here in the shadow line of the tree. A lot of bait in here, which is cool. Oh, just hit one, bumped one. Problem is right now is we're fishing on this wall, but there's a tarpon right here in front of me. This is some true urban fishing, and I just got hit, which is a good sign. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna go over there to that little grassy patch. I don't care if I get my feet wet. 
and we're gonna give that a shot. But let's just like, take a look down here real quick. Yeah, we got tarpon popping all right here in this canal. This is awesome. This is what I wanted to find. Yes. Oh, look at that, they're busting off right here. Some kind of dead fish here. Looks like maybe a dead snapper or something. Let's catch my first tarpon. That's what we gotta do. Oh, just got whacked. First cast right in there. There's a good amount of fish just popping right in this shadow line. Tarpon are known to be a little tricky to hook. There's one. Yes! No! Oh, that was still awesome though. Heck yeah. That's a tarpon right there for you though. Yeah, it was nice, right bud? Oh, no! He went in the tree! Did you see that man? <laughs> he literally jumped up into that bush or tree right there. Small one, but they're still super fun. There he is. Oh gosh. I gotta be a man now and I gotta really, you know, set the hook on these fish hard in order to get them. There he is. Oh! <laughs> I gotta tighten the drag a little bit. I gotta keep him down. There he is. First little tarpon, we got him. Awesome right there. On the little Yozuri, first ever tarpon right there. <laughs> Not really a graceful release, but we got him in and back. Let's get another one. There he is. Oh my Jesus. I can't even imagine catching one that's like three times the size of these little guys. Oh my gosh, this is insane. This one's a little bigger. That fish I think cleared my head. He went over my head. Oh, no, no. We got him. Whew. Not a bad tarpon right there. Beautiful fish. Silver King. Whew. Heck yeah, man. I officially love tarpon, they're my favorite species now <laughs> to catch, and uh, I think I got to move to St. Martin. That's uh, the next game plan move. I'm getting really frayed up, but I think we're good. I'm using 30 pound Seaguar fluorocarbon, 15 pound braid on my 7 foot 6 medium power fast action uh, travel St. Croix spinning rod, 4000 tsunami shield. I think this is like a good setup for these size fish. But uh, really, anything bigger, I don't know if I'd be able to handle them. Oh my gosh. I was walking back and I, oh my God. These fish are insane. I'm addicted. Whew, my heart's racing. Got one on right now. I didn't even set the hook on this one. Jesus. 
He's gonna jump again. He's definitely gonna jump again. <laughs> Slaying, man, slaying. I don't even know what to compare these fish to, like from what I've caught, because there's nothing like them, really. There's like nothing like them. <sighs> nothing freaking like these fish right here. It's awesome. This is uh, some freaking amazing stuff. Let's see if we can get one to hit it like on top, like really, really close. That'd be epic. There's another one. Oh my Jesus. All right. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that was insane. Oh. That one didn't even hit it hard, he just had it. Dang, son. Oh, missing him, man. Tricky fish. There he is. That little guy. <laughs> oh, Jesus, that one hit like a ton of bricks. It's funny, like some like hit like really, really light. And then they take off. Some just come in and like fully loaded hit it. Oh yeah, that's a nice one. Right at my feet too. Oh, don't jump. Oh no. Ah, uh, man. Ah. Uh. Well, at least we're getting the entertainment and excitement and the adrenaline. We'll probably try and get one more and then go somewhere else, meet up with the guys, see what they're doing. Jesus. I love it when they hit it close. This shit is a crack right here. Oh gosh. Uh, I just want to land like one freaking more, really. And that's all the time I really have to, to do if I can do it. Just land one more. All right, this is the last cache right here. Got to get one where I got to go. It's crazy. I'm getting hit like on every single cast. You know, I'm getting freaking rocked. Like, look at that. But they just keep coming off. Let's see if I can keep this one on. Oh, man. Like, the action is insane. Like, crazy. I'm probably going to have to edit out so many hits and and uh, fish that were on that came off, but just dang, man. All right, guys, so that was awesome. Now we're on the beach and uh, we're gonna kind of walk down about like a half mile, get a little bit closer to where the ferry picks you up to take you to the cruise ship. You know, I just wanna play it safe. I don't wanna be there too long and, you know, all of a sudden, like, I'm running back to uh, the ferry to go to the cruise. Um, you know, I think it's like 4.30 p.m. right now. I thought it was 5.30, but my phone didn't change yet because now we're like, we went to Bermuda and then now we're back, um, you know, I guess the Eastern Standard Time. And uh, I don't know what we're going to catch here, but this water is freaking gorgeous. So hopefully we can, uh, you know, maybe catch another tarpon. If not, we can just, you know, play around, see if we can catch just some other saltwater species. But uh, my, my heart rate is, is racing right now. You gotta go to St. Martin and try and catch some tarpon. You wanna take a picture of you or? Okay, yeah? You. No problem. Thank you. There we go. Nice. Oh, we got a fish on. Fish on right next to the dock here. Nice little fella, I think he is a uh, 
Was it a Jack Craval? Yeah, I think that's how you say it. All right, let's see if there's anything on this jetty here. Looks good. Not seeing many fish though along the rocks, but I'm sure they're here. I fished this same jetty like 10 years ago when I was like 12. And I don't think I caught anything off of it. I think I had a follow from like a Barracuda. That was probably about it. And then we met like a local guy who took us to, you know, that kind of that area where I was catching the tarpon. There's something right there. Fish on. Pulling pretty good. What is it? Barracuda? Yeah, Cuda. Considered more of a trash fish, but hey, they're still fun. Look at those teeth. Not bad. If we can get a snook, that'd be pretty cool. There's probably some around here. So we'll fish here for like another little bit and then maybe we'll see if we can sneak on these docks and fish. There's a fish. Oh, another, another cuda. Oh, there he goes. This looks like a good spot for snook or some tarpon. Uh, no, not allowed to fish here. <laughs> that was five minutes. Sorry. 